Are you using WP Video Lightbox? If not, this is a great WordPress plugin to embed your videos within posts and actually have them pop up in a very nice looking light box on the screen that really makes your video stand out as well as um, is responsive on the internet. So that means that it can be sized by mobile phones and by tablets as well. And it seems to work pretty well through most devices. And today we're going to learn how to use the short code to embed a video in a post within WordPress using WP Video Lightbox. So the first step is that we are going to go to our post page and we're going to add a new post and while that's coming up we're going to jump over to YouTube and find a video and the video we're going to look at today is this video right here which I've already copied the link and everything so the the share link from YouTube but that's pretty easy to do and I don't want to have this the volume come on here here because it will override the video but if you go to the, the video and go to share, you'll find the share link here. Make sure to do it so that it doesn't bring up all in a playlist. There's a checkbox here sometimes that says show all in a playlist. Turn that off and then grab the share short link here. And I've already done this and pasted it into a file, a notepad file, so I have all the information I need, as well as I've taken all this information and gone out and gotten a title for my blog post, I've got a description already written, and I've got some uh, keywords down here that can be used with that video. So I'm not going to really talk about that stuff today, we're just going to talk about how WP Lightbox does a good job embedding video. So the first thing we're going to do in our post is we're going to go to our text here and we're going to put in our title and for this particular blog it's clip jumping in Hawaii and I'm gonna put this in text mode to put the code in here and so I've gone in and I've actually taken the code and I'm just gonna copy all of my description code here and paste this right into the video into the WordPress post area and right now we haven't really done much and in this particular blog it typically requires that you put a title down here and description as well so we'll go over here to our title and description and keywords and we'll put all this down here in this meta information I want to make sure this blog post is correct for this particular blog so here's our title we'll use this is our description and we'll pop some keywords in here as well. And we'll put the keywords in the post at the same time. So we'll kind of killing two birds with one stone. So we'll paste those here. And we'll come over here and we'll add our keywords. And in this blog, we're going to put this under, let's put this under, I don't know, travel to Hawaii. I think Hawaii fun would be the best one, Hawaiian fun. So we'll put this in the why and fun category. So the first thing we need to do after we've created our post is we need to go pick a featured image for this particular blog. So we're going to go over here and we're going to upload our images. And our images will be buried. So it'll take me a minute to find those here within this particular site that I manage. Post, quit jumping Hawaii. So we got a couple images here. Now I've done two images. One image is going to be my featured image. The other image I'm actually going to use as the image for the underlying video. This is not embedding the video on the page. This is actually creating embed code to pop open a light box. So it requires that you have a placeholder image on the page itself. So we're going to go ahead and import these two into our blog. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the title, Cliff Jumping Hawaii, to both of the images. And I'm going to set, I'm going to grab the second image URL just so I have it while I'm here. And I can't really grab it. I'll go ahead and grab it while I'm here. So I'm going to edit the image and it should give me Oh, it doesn't give me the the actual image URL here, so that's fine. We'll go back. 
We'll grab that later. We'll grab that in a second. So we're going we're gonna to set our featured image, though, to the larger of the two images for this blog. We're going to put a featured image on this particular blog post. And within the video itself, there, the embed code is right here. And this is the embed code, and I've kind of done some other things in HTML to kind of center it and make it look nice within this. But the two important parts about this embed code is it starts right here with the open bracket, and it ends right here with the closed bracket. And it needs two pieces of information to work properly. The first piece of information is actually the video itself, it's the short code to the video. So what I want to do is make sure that I've done the right one here. It looks like I already have, but just to illustrate, I'm going to copy this. This is what I copied from that share link from YouTube. I'm going to paste this in here. Yeah, it was the same. And the second thing it's going to require is it's going to require that we add an image, and this image is not the right image at this particular point for what we're looking for. So I'm going to have to actually, I'm going to, go ahead and save this in draft mode, and I'm going to go get the URL for one of the images that I just uploaded, and I'm going to put that into this post. And so we'll go over to, I think we can find this under Media, Library, and we can look this up. And here's our image. This is the one we want because it has a little video player button on it. And we're going to go ahead and do view. And I'll do this open in a new tab just so I can grab it without, you know, overwriting what page I'm on. So this will come up within this. And it's just showing me the image. So I'm going to right click on the image here and I'm going to do view, view image info. There's other ways to get this information, but this is the, this is the way that is pretty quick as you know, to do. So we're going to go back over here to our posts and in our posts we're going to go back to the post that we just added and again we have this in draft mode we haven't done anything with it. We're going to go ahead and click edit here go back into our post and we're going to add the video player placeholder URL and actually you'll see it says anchor equals and most of the time this can be this doesn't have to be a video this can be text as well but it does best if you put some type of video image on the page so people know it's a video. So I went ahead and added that. So now I'm going to go ahead and publish this. I think this is pretty much ready to go as is. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this particular piece of content and then we're going to preview it and see what it looks like. And assuming I did all this right, we'll have a nice image with a nice media uh, pop uh, WP Lightbox media player pop up on the screen. Okay, so we're done here. We're going to go ahead and hit preview changes and this will give us a what it looks like. So here's what we posted. This was my featured image, my little blurb about the video. And the only thing I don't like is this is a little small. Typically I'll do these video images bigger. Um, I think I picked the smaller of the two images, but it doesn't really matter. We'll go back and change this later just to illustrate here. So if we click on this, this is what it looks like. You click on this and you get this beautiful pop-up light box right here. And because there's some other job script on here, a little loud there, but you get the idea. So this is very nice because it pops up and you can see it has a light box effect which really makes it look nice, and this is also responsive. It looks well on most devices, you know, smaller devices such as handheld mobile phones and the tablets and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it for adding a video light box, a WP Video light box in WordPress.